My parents left us in charge of uh, their cat, Rufus, which is also the cat I grew up with because they went on a trip for a few days. So we're taking care of the cat and I let him roam around a little bit around our place. Since Rufus is having one of the rare instances where he's staying in Milwaukee, I thought it'd be a good time to share my top five things that I want to do in Milwaukee that I haven't done yet. And I'm going to start with the river that's to my right. Uh, I think it'll be your left though. But it's the Milwaukee River, and I'm on the river walk, which I've done plenty of times. But well, one thing I really want to try out is kayaking on the Milwaukee River. During the summer, we saw a lot of people kayaking down the river, uh, through downtown, under bridges. It's just beautiful. There's so much to look at. During last summer, Michelle and I were kayaking a decent amount. Not in Milwaukee, though. So one thing I want to try out next summer, hopefully, is kayaking down this river because it just would be really fun. I know there's places where we can rent kayaks uh, downtown or maybe in the third ward it is. So it should be pretty easy. We can just walk over there and rent them and then go kayaking. Right now we can't because it's winter and the river's frozen over unfortunately. So wouldn't get very far kayaking. Number two, I want to go to Red Arrow Park and go ice skating. It's in downtown Milwaukee, right in front of a Starbucks, and it's free to skate. It costs money to uh, rent a pair of skates, but the skating itself is free if you have a pair, which I do not, but I still would love to do that. You can, you have to reserve a time online, and you can reserve up to a week in advance but it looks super fun. I haven't gone ice skating in a few years, so hopefully I'm not too rusty, but we'll see. I'm actually a pretty good skater and rollerbladers. Ice skating's a classic thing to do in places that are cold in the winter, and this one is actually outdoors as well. So Number three, go to a Bucks game at the Pfizer Forum. I haven't been to a game still. It's been open for now probably two years, I think. Although last year the pandemic started at the very end, so couldn't go to games then and still can't because fans aren't allowed yet. But once fans are allowed again, I really want to go to a game here. The energy would be amazing, especially a playoff game. That'd be really cool. I actually stood outside right here for a playoff game uh, two years ago and they had a huge TV up. There was a ton of people, ton of vendors out selling drinks and food, and it was just a ton of fun, ton of energy, and even though we weren't inside the stadium, it was amazing outside of it. However, I am a big Bucks fan, so the fact that I haven't been to a game at the Pfizer yet is kind of surprising because it's been open for two years. I have been to Bucks games prior to the new stadium and it was the Bradley Center the one, that's the one I've been to I've been to multiple games there that stadium was really old which is and crappy and that's why they built the new one also when the Pfizer was built they really redid the area around it and it's now called the Deer District in honor of the Milwaukee Bucks and there's a lot of really cool bars and restaurants and it's a really cool atmosphere, especially when the Bucks are playing, but I would also assume when any Wisconsin team in general is playing. Number four, I wanna to go to Adventure Rock, and it's about a mile north of downtown, maybe two miles, not very far. I drive by it all the time when door dashing, and if you want to actually DoorDash, I'll link it in the description because it's great money. And right now it's just busy all the time because people are just constantly ordering food with the weather. If you sign up and make a certain amount of deliveries, I think you'll get a bonus too, as will I, 
far using my length, which would be beneficial for both of us. Anyways, back to Adventure Rock, and whenever we door dash by it, we always see inside because they have these huge windows that show inside, and Adventure Rock, what it is, is rock climbing. And so you, the windows are literally the entire thing, so it's gotta be super bright inside, and it just looks really fun. I used to love rock climbing when I was a kid, uh, going to indoor places, and I also really like going rock climbing outside. Not like uh, with harnesses or anything, but more free climbing, and not like super intense ones, but more like a mixture of hiking and climbing more so, I'd say. But anyway, indoor rock climbing I used to love as a kid, and I think both Michelle and I would really like to do that. So maybe we'll do that really soon because when it's cold outside, it's a perfect thing to do inside. When rock climbing and even hiking, I just love the risk of falling. Uh, it's just exhilarating. I really like that risk. So I think I would really like to go skydiving at some point too. Uh, that's not one of the five things for this video, but it is something I do want to do eventually. And I do love risky activities like that. Lastly, number five, and that's to go to Bradford Beach. And this is a really surprising that I haven't been there yet because it's such a popular beach in Milwaukee. Uh, tons of people go there when it's warm out in the summer and relax on the beach, play volleyball, uh, go swimming, do beach activities essentially. And I don't recall ever actually going there at least to the beach to relax on the beach. I have walked on the beach, but it's been in full clothing and not beach attire. Haven't gone swimming there. Haven't had a beach day there is what I'm saying. And I really want to do that because it seems like a really Milwaukee thing to do in Milwaukee. It should be a relaxing time when I eventually do that. Well, those are the five things that I wanted to do in Milwaukee that I haven't done yet and there's this list is definitely not exhaustive and there's other things that I want to do and try that didn't come to mind for this video but I will probably do them at some point anyway. Yeah.